Disappointed and sick to their stomachs. That's how members of the Hui Nalu Canoe Club on Oahu say they feel after more than a dozen of their canoes were vandalized. Elisa Arevalo shows us the damage and tells us this won't slow them down. Elisa? Joe, Hui Nalu Club members tell me they're just not sure why someone would do this, but this also isn't the first time they've heard of a canoe club being vandalized. I'm told a few club members were about a half mile out in Mauna Loa Bay Monday morning when they first noticed the damage. We were out at the 1 2 buoy and on our way back uh, when it happened, when we noticed that the, the uh, ropes holding the Alma were um, sliced and cut. The members realized the extent of the damage when they got back to shore. The ropes had been cut on 16 boats, a total of 25. Almas um, were affected. Alma is what keeps us from flipping over back and forth. So it's, it's vital. We can't go out, basically. There's so many things to do in Hawaii, and to just do a senseless act like this. Members tell me it looks like only their canoes were targeted. I'm told other canoe clubs on island have also been hit with vandalism over the last couple of weeks. It saddens me that with all these beautiful things in Hawaii that they would have to just do something like this. I mean, it just it sickens to me to my stomach. It's just really disappointing that someone would do this. It takes a lot of time to rig all these boats and get everything ready. I'm told Hui Nalu has over 500 members, 8 years old to 80 years old. The canoes are also used for an after-school program. More than a dozen members came together to fix the rigging before kids got out of school Monday afternoon. Members say they have this message for the vandals. Come paddle. I mean, join a club, and you see how important it is to us. Now, we reached out to HPD to find out if there have been any other reports of vandalism on Mauna Lua Bay. The department is looking into our request. Now, no arrests have been made, but if you have any information, you're asked to call police. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.